this is a fucking epic story of good and evil and it is going to tear your fucking brain apart while you watch it. Booth is the is the story is the sort of a mix between the Da Vinci Code, the Omen, um, the Golden Child, and the Exorcist. Yeah. Um, it, All it start, in one. Yeah, it starts out in a very um, troubling way, and it, from the first scene, you know this movie kind of whether you like like it or not, and we'll get into that. You have to admit this movie means business. Um, first scene in and a woman breaks breaks into a um in a newborn care facility she doesn't try and break in she, she's a member of the staff but uh she's a nurse yeah she has nefarious um motives well it's not really her controlled by a demon she Bale, bales a booth be, be, bezel booth best but bezels a booth controlled by a demon she does something very terrible to the newborns yeah doesn't leave any survivors um i liked the baby stabbing scene only because it was so disturbing not because yes. i like that kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> yes that's a bad thing it's a bad we're, thing. we're gonna go on record okay and of course then there's the it was, a very uh, bold, it was a very bold way to open a movie yes and then there's the animatronic king jesus on the cross who becomes oh, possessed. that was that was quite uh disturbing and it yeah. was, it was where's <laughs> where, there's there's the um the baby killing the grade school shooting so probably the the most um transgressive possession movie since 1973's the exorcist yeah yeah, the devil um, was really, really trying this time. Yeah, he, there weren't all not like all these PG thirteen attempts like <laughs> the of Emily Rose, or the devil, you know, the the devil inside or whatever that's called. None, none of that stuff. None of these, none of these possession movies where people bend their bodies weird. Right. This is that's, this is they don't hold a candle. Yeah. Right. Right. This is this is definitely in your face um disturbing um i i will say that I, as i watched it i didn't know what was going to happen from scene to scene and there was a real sense of danger in the movie i thought yeah. from scene to scene that anything could happen and it would you know like nobody was safe which is something that doesn't happen very often in modern horror movies right <clears throat> um the the first scene we talked about with the babies and then um there, there was the school scene, and then there's another scene where um, a girl is possessed and runs with electrodes into a crowded swimming pool. And at that point, I was just like, what the fuck am I watching? Yeah, like somebody approaches her, and she shocks him into the water. Yeah. And then she jumps in, and yeah. It's like throwing a, an M80 into a, into a stock pond. Mm. There's all the floating fish, you know. Yeah, these weren't fish, though. No, they were people. But um, okay, no, it's it's the fact that um, it, honestly, it was just that it was it. Okay, it's an hour and fifty four minute movie. <sighs> Shorter than The Exorcist. For some reason, I just couldn't stay. I, I tried twice and I just couldn't stay um, attached to it. It's like, okay, the story was awesome. The concept of it was fantastic. I actually, um, back in the early 80s, mid 80s, I wrote um, an entire game scenario based on this. <laughs> hmm. I mean, uh, where, you know, it was like the, the um, Antichrist and Christ were born at the same time in different parts of the world. 
and um, the agents of Satan were desperately trying to kill the newborn, new, newborn coming of Jesus, and the crusaders of, of Christ were desperately trying to track down the baby Antichrist. And um, the people, the, the players were playing characters on the side of the light. And we're also trying to, you know, they're part of the, you know, group trying to track down the baby Satan. Mm -hmm. And, um, it, it involved like, um, you know, world travel and all kinds of stuff, you know? Um, so the concept I, I'm, you know, really happy. I was really happy with the idea behind the story and the fact that, um, you know, the devil was really, really, no holds barred pulling out all the stops and trying to take out the new Christ. Um, it's, it's depiction of evil is pretty, you know, I mean, it's intense. It's a fucking intense film and I, I don't know why I couldn't follow it. I mean, I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't, you know, I, I, I it just, mm. I actually had no interest in any other religious aspects of the story. Um, I was watching the first hour and I was just really blown away by it. And then when the, when Jesus, uh, Jesus statue came to life, that freaked me out. Cause that reminded me of that scene in exorcist three, where this Jesus statue's eyes open up. This is sort of like, yeah, this took it to a different level. Yeah. Um, but uh, all of that religious stuff uh, to me felt like Da Vinci code two or something like that. Um, it, it does get weaker as the movie goes on, but I think that first hour is so strong that it carries enough goodwill. Yeah. Or and I have bad will, I should say for the first hour. I mean, I was, I was actually pretty, pretty intensely um, entranced by it. Mm -hmm. Only mildly was I distracted by the um, subtitles and then things started to kind of, I, I do th I do think that I mean you either uh, go with it at that point or it, it kind of loses you at the midway point and that's what happened okay it wasn't it, wasn't, it was never boring to me yeah it was you know I didn't find it boring I just I just uh, I just had trouble following keeping keeping interest in it mm. but it didn't bore me the movie while well, I was actually staring at the t at the screen um you know kept me you know i was like Ooh, oh ah! you know but um there then it just kind of i was just like hmm, what else can i do it has a very strong setup for for a very and then yeah um it's not a wishy-washy ending but it, it's 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 no it was a but, terminator but the, ending. but the end the the big yes terminator it's the terminator uh, it begins so strongly that it could only go down. Um, and I think that's what happened to me. Maybe I'm just... I think if you structured it differently, where it, it began where it ended, and then ended where it began, it would be a uh, pretty intense movie. If they would have started it showing them doing what they were doing in the end, and then told the story about why... Mm -hmm. that might have been like oh shit I mean it, it, what'd you think of Tobin Bell from Saw he was weird yeah I, I thought he had some I think that they shouldn't have used him um, I think he had some interesting character bits in there and I think he's yeah. one of the, and he's one of the reasons why the movie got a wider release because he's involved in it mm. Mm. <laughs> This is a fucking epic story of good and evil, and it is going to tear your fucking brain apart while you watch it. That's why you should see this movie, not because you know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna in the editing. I'm gonna change this to be a movie that you love, and I'm gonna have that be the only thing you say. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've had my words twisted by the media that way before. <laughs> media. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, 
I mean, I guess that's really all there we can say about the film, really. So you loved it. <sighs> I <laughs> loved it. No, you told me you were going to give it a press eject. And I, I, I was, you know, up until you now, up until now, I was going to give it a press eject, but it's not fair. It's not fair for me to say press eject because just because I disliked, you know, the, the amount of um, mixing of, uh, of subtitles and, and stuff. And because I disliked the actor that they chose to be this, you know, kooky, Van Helsing. I thought it was interesting that they uh, have him be someone who sold his soul to help people. Right. right. I mean, just, you know, okay. So are you sure you're going to press play? Are I'm going to tell, uh, yes, I'm going to say press play because um, I think everybody should give it a fair shake because it is a fantastic story. And I, I think that, um, um, you know, if you if you like the whole struggle of good and evil and you want to see it in a really freaking brutal way that the Bible doesn't give you, because honestly, I have a feeling that that's the kind of shit that was the behind the scenes of <laughs> of the attempt on the baby Jesus. Um, I'm going to say press play. I didn't. um <clears throat> I have weird feelings about it too. I don't love it. Um, it's it, like I said, it kind of falls apart as it goes on. It, it gets too bogged down in this kind of conspiracy X Files, Da Vinci Code stuff. But uh, I, I think the first hour is very strong. Um, I don't usually like movies in this genre, um, the possession genre. There's only like one or two good ones. Um, I just give this one kudos for trying really hard. And, uh, well, it did try really hard. Yeah, it was it definitely. It, you know, I think I think it not only tried hard, I think it succeeded. Um, because I mean, it really the brutality in the movie is is intense, and um, I think that it, it it's it's about time that that a filmmaker stop pussyfooting around what. The, de- the lengths that the devil would go to to try to prevent um, what, what, what the theme of the film was. Hmm. You know? I, I just like that it was, uh, it embraced its, uh, I don't know if it was R-rated, R-rated or unrated, but it definitely uh, embraced a very dark, uh, and, and we got to tell everybody, even though we say, even though I'm saying press play, it's not for everybody. There's a lot of people who will not want to see just the things that happen in this movie. Yeah, it's brutal, people. It's brutal. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. I mean, it will fuck with your brain. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. It didn't really. Um, I mean, I went <gasps> a couple times, but I. I I'm, that's, I'm, Dan, that's Dan's version of being fucked in the brain. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty jaded, so that's 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 a major reaction to get out of me is <gasps> Yeah. What a what a movie. News. Uh good news is that this week's movie is short, so uh it shouldn't tax John's attention. <laughs> yeah. bad, bad news is that it's uh, subtitled and I know he doesn't like that. But we I made him watch the trailer and we're both equally uh, perplexed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's it's called what? Uh, I believe it's pronounced Vi, but I'm not exactly sure on that. It's a Russian movie. It's called. It's spelled V I Y, and it's and it roughly is uh, translated to Spirits of Evil. Uh, and it's uh, the surprise film number one that came out on the 12th. Yep, yep. Um, it, uh, John was mentioning it. It kind of looks like it had been filmed in 1910 or 1915. <laughs> yeah, it, it has that that. Uh, you know, um, poof, screen change type of, you know. (laughs) It it looks very much like something that, it looks like a high-tech version of something like Trip to the Moon. Yeah. Or or, um, Nosferatu or uh, Right. The Thief of Baghdad or even some of those, um, you know, those early genre movies, those silent films. But it has sound and it's it's in color. So we're going to check out Vi. And then... uh, John has some idea of uh, what we'll be watching in the future after that. Yep. I know exactly what I'm picking for the following week. 
and that is going to be Train to Busan, because I love that movie. It's my favorite zombie movie of all time. Even it's, it's it, really effective. Even ranked, I, I would even rank it higher than Dawn of the Dead. Wow, or Night of the Living Dead, which I know is blasphemy, but it, you just gotta you just gotta be true about what you feel, you know. So it's yep, it's, yep. it's it's right up there. And then, of course, I can't wait on the 26th, the Creep Show series premieres, and we're going to be shifting gears just a little bit. We're going to be doing um, reviews of the Creep Show series as well as films. Um, so uh, we'll have our work cut out for us. Um, and, uh, and, and one of the reasons we're letting you know about what we're, what we're going to be watching in advance is so that you can watch them with us. Yeah. And, and have some idea of, you know, what you can either choose to use this channel to guide you toward things you, you might want to watch, or you can watch with us like kind of a book club and, you know, join in the discussion. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, so, um, so the next, uh, so our next movie is Vi from 1967, the Russian film and train to Busan, which I, is it ch- Japanese or Chinese? No, it's, I think it's Korean. Korean. And yep. then, um, and then after that we will be doing creep show. Um, and uh, I know that Carrie Stello, one of our uh, faithful viewers, wants us to check out the taking of Deborah Logan. So we'll, we'll try to squeeze that in if we can. Yep. And that's on my birthday. Oh, yes. 